the cold-blooded murder of journalist activist Gauri Lankesh outside her home last year had shook Bengaluru. Now, a year later, the special investigation team, which is probing the murder, say that they have managed to piece together how the crime was committed. While 13 persons have been arrested so far, the SIT had its first breakthrough in February this year after they arrested KT Naveen Kumar, the founder of Hindu Yuvasene. Based on the information provided by KT Naveen Kumar, the SIT made four more arrests, including Amol Kale, the suspected mastermind of the murder. It was upon Kale's arrest that the plot began to unravel. Amol Kale is the alleged mastermind of Gauri Lankesh's murder. Kale is believed to be a member of Sanatan Sansta, a Hindutva group based in Goa. He was also a former member of Hindu Janajagrati Samiti, which is an offshoot of Sanatan Sansta. The SIT found a hit list containing 34 names in possession of Amol Kale upon his arrest. The SIT say that the, the list contains names of rationalists and progressive thinkers. The group's aim was to eliminate anyone who they believed was against their ideology and the group also wanted to create an army to protect the Hindu religion. Amit Degbekar is believed to be the head of operations. He is also said to have financed the group's activities. When the CBI arrested Amit Degbekar earlier in September, he is said to have confessed that he had created a blueprint for the murders of Narendra Dabolkar and Govind Pansare. Amol Kale allegedly put fellow Hindu Janajagrati Samiti member Sujit Kumar in charge of recruiting a team to carry out the murder. Sujit Kumar is said to have recruited at least five people as a part of the team to carry out Gaudi Lankesh's murder. He is believed to have scouted for members at various conventions of the Hindu Janajagrati Samiti. It was at one such convention in Bengaluru that he recruited KT Naveen Kumar. KT Naveen Kumar's alleged role in the conspiracy was to provide logistics, that is to provide bullets. Manohar Edave, a resident of Bijapur who had affiliated himself to various local pro-Hindutva outfits, was allegedly recruited by Sujit Kumar. The mastermind Amol Kale and his associate Nihal, alias Dada, had allegedly told Manohar Edave to carry out a recce of Gauri Lankesh's home and office. SIT sources say that another arrested accused, Ganesh Miskin, allegedly rode the Pulsar bike to Gauri Lankesh's house along with the suspected shooter Parashuram Bagmore on the night of the murder. The alleged mastermind, Amol Kale, is said to have told Ganesh Miskin to shoot Gauri Lankesh in case Parashuram Bagmore missed. Ganesh Miskin is also said to have confessed to SIT that he was involved in the murder plot to kill a rationalist M.M. Kalburki. The SIT believes that Parashuram Wagmore was the man who shot Gauri Lankesh. On the night of September 5, 2017, Ganesh Miskin and Parashuram Wagmore arrived outside Gauri Lankesh's house located on Ideal Homes layout in Bengaluru's Rajarajeshwari Nagar. At around 8 pm, Gauri Lankesh's cart pulled up outside her house. Pillion rider Parashuram Wagmore got down and shot at her four times. Three bullets pierced Gauri Lankesh, killing her within minutes. SIT sources say that Ganesh and Parshuram sped away on the bike to meet with another accused in the case, Amit Baddi, on Mysuru Road soon after the murder. Ganesh and Parshuram are said to have given the murder weapon, the bike and the helmets to Amit Baddi. They are said to have changed their clothes inside a Maruti Omni van which Amit Baddi had brought. Ganesh Miskin and the alleged shooter Parashuram Wagmore are then said to have travelled to Nelamangla where they met another accused Bharat Kurne. Bharat Kurne is believed to have transported Ganesh and Parashuram to North Karnataka. Amit Baddi allegedly took the murder weapon, the bike, the helmets and the clothes to a safe house located in Kumbal Godu. The safe house owner, Suresh, had allegedly allowed mastermind Amol Kale and his team to live in his home for a few months before the murder. Amit Baddi allegedly handed over the weapon, the bike, clothes and helmet to another accused named Sudhanva Gondalkar at the safe house in Kumbalgodu. Sudhanva Gondalkar and Sharad Khalaskar were part of the five who were arrested by the Maharashtra's anti-terrorism squad earlier in August. Maharashtra's ATS had recovered a huge cache of illegal country-made pistols and IEDs. Sharad Khalaskar is allegedly said to have confessed to the ATS that he was involved in rationalist Narendra Dabholkar's murder as well. Sudhanva Gondalkar is said to have kept the murder weapon, the bike, the clothes and the helmets at the Kumbalgodu safe house for over a week after the murder. 
to ensure that the task was complete, mastermind Amol Kale allegedly tasked Sudhanva Gondhalkar and Sharad Kalaskar with being the B team to kill Gauri Lankesh in case Parshram Bagh More and Ganesh Miskin failed. The SIT now wants custody of Sudhanva and Sharad to find out what happened to the murder weapon. Another key arrest in the case is that of Rajesh Bangera, the personal assistant to Congress MLC Veena Acharya. Rajesh Bangera is said to have trained Parshram Bagh More and others in sharpshooting. One of the biggest breakthroughs for the SIT is establishing links between the murders of Narendra Dabholkar, Govind Pansare, M.M. Kalburgi and Gauri Lankesh. While the forensic report states that the same murder weapon was used to kill M.M. Kalburgi and Gauri Lankesh, the SIT is yet to trace the murder weapon.